Hi, this is Eric Martin, Report Game Geek. I'm here with Joe Barron from Grey Matters Games, looking at the game of Wolf, a party game. Yeah. Need a group to play at least four players? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we are dividing into teams, or how is this going to work? Yeah, so it's a strate strategic trivia game where you're picking your pack wisely. Okay. And so you would get a category, this one, for example, weapon of choice. Mm -hmm. Based on that category, you're going to pick at the table who you want as your partner, to answer the five questions. So you're going to look at the, the card. Do you look at the entire card or you just, just the get, category? Yep, you just you get just... to know the category. Okay. Yep. And from that, you are then going to choose someone you think is competent? That's right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Or if you feel that you're very strong in a category, you can go lone wolf against everybody and try to get double the points. Okay. So teams are changing every round, and there's that risk-reward of going... Uh, lone Wolf versus picking your pack. Okay, so you got Weapon of Choice, me, you chose me, you thought I was good with weapons. Yes. What, do, what do the other people do? Oh, so when you when you when your teams have been divided, um, let's say it's me and you, you pick me as your partner, mm -hmm. we're going to be writing down our answers to the, the five questions related to that category, okay. and then the other two people are going to be writing down answers to that as well. Okay. So once, once you've put down all your answers in the tiebreaker, then you compare, and whoever got the most correct out of five gets the points for that round. Okay, so we're making these little mini teams each round. That's right. Trying to divide up, and just I, our team as the wolf team, we have to tie or beat the other people. Yeah, so it, there's a tiebreaker as well, so there, there'll never be a tie. Okay. Um, so as, as long as we beat them, we each get a point. If they beat us, they each get a point. Okay. And then All right. the next round, there's a new wolf, and then uh, there's a new category. Okay, so, so examples of the questions here. Yeah, so uh, instead of writing them down, maybe I'll just answer them and yeah, kind of do yeah. Here. Let's challenge you. So we got okay. weapon of choice. And you so, can answer at home. Answer at home, yes. Yes. Uh, so name the weapon of choice for these fictional characters. Okay. Number one, Luke Skywalker. Okay, lightsaber. Yes. Can do that. Uh, two, Katniss Everdeen. She has a bow. Different types of bow depending on the yes. course of the movies. I don't know. That one I know pretty well. You yes. got it, man. You got yes. it. They do get a little harder as you go. Uh, number three, Napoleon Dynamite. He has a weapon? He has, he has, he has mad skills. Weapon. He has a his, uh, dancing skills? <laughs> I, I, I don't know exactly. It's been a long time since I've seen Napoleon Dynamite. I have dancing skills would be my answer because I have nothing else to say. I, I might give that to you, but he had some, He said in the movie he had some, some mean nunchuck skills. Oh. And he had them in his locker. So. Okay, yes. Uh, was, Dancing would not call that. <laughs> uh, number four is Raphael from Teenage Mut Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, so he's not the Psy. Uh, no, Raphael is the Psy. Raphael, Raphael is the Psy. Yes, yeah. okay. There you go. I worked in a toy store <laughs> where we sold Ninja Turtles all day long, so I should remember that. <laughs> yes. And then the last one, always the hardest one, is Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead, I have not seen. So, uh, John's indicated, it looks like he's doing a pacemaker. <laughs> no, it's a throwing star. No. Nope. Shuriken. It's it is a cricket pixie bat. Pixie Gus. Uh, I thought it was the vinyl record. The vinyl he records. Kills a bunch of zombies with a cricket bat. <laughs> cricket bat. Do not know that. So what is the tiebreaker? That is something where we cannot tie, you're saying. It's a different type of question. It's not a yes-no question. Yeah, so the tiebreaker is a number question where whoever gets the closest will, okay. will win. So it's it's a question that's made for people not to know it. Okay. Almost like a wits and wagers where you're trying to get the closest number. So like the tiebreaker on this is how much does Bud say he pawned his Hanzo sword for in Kill Bill Volume 2? Oh... <laughs> I have no idea. Seven hundred dollars. That's it's not bad. Two hundred and fifty. You probably uh, would win with yes. that. Yes. Okay. Most people, you know, guess ten thousand or something. So that's okay. a good guess. All right. Yeah. So we go through a certain number of rounds, or how do how many? Yeah. So there's. We play? Yeah. There's three rounds where everyone gets to play the wolf. Okay. And then each round the points double. So at the end, just to catch up, there you might have to go lone wolf just to to catch up to in try the end. Yeah. It try comes. There. Very strategic on picking your partners at the end. All right. Thank you very much, Joe, for overview of the game of Wolf from Grey Matters Games. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Eric.